Ah, the relaxing sounds of the medical pavilion. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Mm. Now find your way to emergency access. Well, I don't mind if I do. Is make a noise. I'm even seeing things that aren't there. That's just the Hello. last bit blues, Mary. You just need to slow down a bit on the slice of the floor. You know what you're saying. You can't reprogram a flying turret, I guess. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Uh. Suddenly, my brain stopped working. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, I'll just grab one of these elbows. Nope, over here, please. Thank you. And we need a downward pointing one. A, there we go. That's not so bad. Someone talking. Keep away from my oh, Effective. What are, you, are they shooting at each other? Got it, tracking everything. Oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> buddy. You uh Alright, you need to sit down. You need to sit down. Leave my flying robot alone. He's done nothing to harm anyone except shoot them with bullets. Ryan and Adam. Adam and Ryan. All those years of study. And was I ever truly a surgeon before I met them? How we plinked away with our scalpels and toy morality. Yes. We could lop a boil here and shave down a beak there, but but could we really change anything? No. But Adam gives us the means to do it. And Ryan frees us from the phony ethics that held us back. Change your look, change your sex, change your race. It's yours to change. Nobody else's. See, it sounds nice when you when you advertise it like that. Somehow I don't think it plays out quite as well in uh, practice. Somebody sneak up behind me. If you want to use the emergency access, you'll be needing Dr. Steinman's key. He's the one that runs this place. But I don't expect the hand at the end of that milk at human kindness. Steinman ain't that kind. And frankly, I'm not even sure he's still human. Oh, jeez! I thought you were a mannequin! <laughs> Alright, uh, talk to my robot. Have, have my robots contact your robots. We'll get this thing sorted. <laughs> Yoink! Wow, now I've got a Tommy gun. Such. Not such. Whoa. Oh. Uh, he looked like a small person because he was lower on the stairs. I didn't know what was happening for a second there. Buddy, come out now, you ghastly person. Don't call me a ghastly person. Also, where are you? Let me say that to my face. Or not at all. Okay, there's someone else in here. Okay. Jeez, they really did send out the welcome wagon, didn't they? Wow. 
Do this all day. Actually, we can. Hey, what's this? Doctor Steinman said he'd release me today. <gasps> it's Diane. The New Year's attack, not once. But Doctor Steinman was very attentive. He told me that once the scar tissue was gone, he was gonna fix me right up, make me prettier than any girl I've ever seen. He's sweet, all right. So interested in my case. Hmm. For all the right reasons, I'm sure. Nothing unfortunate going on here. He's a professional. Who's whistling? Excuse me. Haven't you heard whistling is illegal? Unhappy customer. Oh, good. Sugary. You keep an eye peeled for Steinman. The dark bastard set up shop in the surgery wing. You want to find him? Just follow the blood. Go on, then. Take out four and go. But I'm keeping everything. Everything! Hi. I think that turret is just laughing at me. Okay, well, I'll teach that turret to laugh at people. Remember, <laughs> all them machines will short out right in front if you hit them with electrobolts. Oh, thank you for the hot tip there, Atlas. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. Where's my turny elbow piece? Do it. Yep. Alright, joke's on you. I got a turret friend. Honey, I'm a star, not you! Hey. Uh, stop. Yeah, you, you, you show him, turret friend. On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free. The farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. I don't know if that's uh, the hot take you were planning for there, Ryan. Scientific error. I tell him of this error, and this make him angry. But then he asks, how 
How can a child know such a thing? I tell him sometimes, I just know. He screams at me, screams at me. Then why tell me? Well, I said, if you are going to do such things, at least you should do them properly. Ooh, Tenenbaum with the hot takes. You have a gun? You have a gun. Well, you should come here where I have, uh, where I have friends. Oh my gosh, did you see that little roll he did? I mean... Oh, hello! <laughs> yeah, I've been going there for a second. <laughs> hello? I'm down here. Why? It has been brought to my attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending machine. We should not need to remind each and every citizen of Rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites <laughs> will be punished. I, just lo I love the exasperation he has as he says, someone has hacked the vending machines. It's about the same emotional level as uh, someone has pooped in the sink again. Like, it's so commonplace. <laughs> Let's see what's down here. Ooh. A chili log. Steinman, I know Medical Pavilion is your map. But you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. If you don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then ratchet leaks. Now, I realize you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. Gotta love the old-timey language. Cogitate. What a world. So fantastical. Andrew Ryan asks you a simple question. Are you a man or a slave? Surgery. Oh. oh, hi. It's our good friend Bubbles. Okay. He's a noisy lad. There's a law that says Oh hi. Well. You'll have to find some way to get through to surgery and Steinman. Chin up now. The Lord ain't the quitter. Well that just seemed unnecessary. They're sounding off like it's the fourth of July. Explosives are hard to come by down here. But if you get your hands on one of them telekinesis plasmids, you can catch the damn fire bombs and toss it right back in his or anything else that might be standing in your way. Okay. We'll find telekinesis instead. Oh, hi! Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Hello! Hanger on! Oh, want some too. These two take two hits. Noted. Noted for the record. What's in here? Up. Oh. Locked. Understandable. How about. Where is it pointing me right now? Huh. Easy. Oh, that's right, we gotta get the... 
Gotta get the pyro first. Ooh. I to mention that. I'm back here. Yeah, Hidget. Well, that just seemed unnecessary at the end of there. But, pop off. As you like. Security camera. <gasps> That's camera. I can hear the infernal things all around you. Ah. Ryan's eyes Autumn. and ears. I'm, 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 just around the corner. Yes. Just gotta sneak up underneath. Okay, these things don't have a wide angle lens or anything. That would be uh, quite unfortunate. Boy, they make you really do a wiggly route to get here, huh? Surely there are enough long pieces to get me to the end, right? Oh, my goodness. Alright. Mine now. Oh, look. It's the ideal dial. Would you like to go into the ideal Out. What's that? Oh. Hmm. broken. But this suspicious spent is fine. We rebuild our city and the doubt and the fly spoil our home. One thousand atoms for the man or woman who pins its wheel. Huh. Incinerate. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spreads. Why is the doctor your foe? Pheromones is the fantastical science at play here, and yet nobody's kind of batting an eye at these plasmids that let you shoot fire out your hand. But hey, that's the fantasy, right? It's over here. I'll just scoot myself down this little hallway. Misguided ambition for you there. 
You sure did keep a lot of photos, didn't you? Now that doesn't seem effective at all. But I'm not a doctor. That was... that was self-defense. Oh, uh, look at this. A clue. Three, four, five, one. Whatever could it mean? That's the wrong way. Aha! I've solved your devious riddle. Nothing can stop me now. What is it? Hmm. Well, that ain't gonna break. I'm sure he just went on. Oh, look! He left me some presents. Haunted. What are you? No! No, 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 no. When the heck did that thing open up? I disagree. Show this turret who's boss. As soon as I find an elbow piece, you're done. There, ma'am. Can you just can you hello? Fine. Are you I don't care. <laughs> oh, look at her getting all huffy. Not your day. Now where were we going? Oh, that's right, the uh the downstairs. Where we can set this on fire. Naturally. Is that a person? 
Is that guy alive or no? Oh, he's alive. <laughs> Can't fool me with your standing incredibly slow tactics. That's a lot of band-aids. You know, I'm running out of ammo. I should use something else. <laughs> Yours? Hello? Uh, where? Don't. Uh, get out of here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, excuse me. Uh, nope. Thought I heard running. Nope. Okay. Just my imagination. Got it. That'll, uh, that'll get you. 